Hey guys, this is Lil with another raid video. Today, we're gonna go out and do some live arena and we're gonna take Tormin out for a spin. Um, I've done some live arena before. Uh, honestly, I've recorded some and then not put them out uh, just cause I don't know how I feel about live arena. Like, do I wanna do like just a showcase on one champ? Uh, I even put out a poll sort of seeing what people liked. Some people said just hate all live arena content. Other people said, I like sort of, you know, picking a specific champ and really focusing on them. And other people said, no, a mix is fine. So today, um, I recorded Tormin, uh, some Tormin live arena a little while ago um, because I got him into six into nine piece Slayer. He was like the first champ that I got some good Slayer gear for in the Dwarves faction. So I thought I'd record some live arena with him. But then since then, before I just even got a chance to put that video out, I got more gear upgrades, so then I was like, oh, well, I can make his gear a bit better now. Uh, and since then, I actually pulled a six-star soul for him, uh, which, of course, you know, I, I, I didn't do on camera, of course. Uh, so I thought that's what we do. I thought we'd take him out for a spin. Uh, it, there was the Titan Path for Tormin uh, at Christmas, so not that long ago, five months ago, if you did it. Um, I did do the Titan Path, though I already had Tormin, um, because one day I'd like uh, to empower Tormin. I really like Tormin as a champ. He's not super meta. Um, oh, look, we really need to ascend his gloves. Oh, we just ascended them for the missions, that's why. Um, he's not super meta right now, but he's a really good flex nuker. So, you know, there's a few different ways that you can build Tormin. Um, I used to have him in a stun set. Uh, just high accuracy, uh, not a lot of damage, like a little bit, but not a lot of damage. High accuracy in a stun set, just as a as a control champ, as an anti-speed champ. Now that we're seeing, you know, the Armands and the Arbiter coming back in, um, it's interesting to bring him back in. So I went out and out uh, nuke build on him because I got him into the Nine Piece Slayer. So he's got a 30% chance to, to repeat AoEs and all of his skills are AoEs. So, his stats look like this, and his gear's, like, ascended, but not brilliantly. Like, the chest, good, the boots are nothing, uh, you know, I really want speed on his boots because he isn't fast enough, the gloves have got nothing, uh, the, <laughs> the amulet's got nothing, I'm just, I'm just totally out of dust everywhere. I might have, have I got one re- I got a re-roll left here, let's see. Can we, can we hit the crit dam? No. Go on, we'll give it one more. Ah, I mean, you would have made my video really good. Um, anyway, so he is where he is. I'd really like more speed on him. I need this to re-roll into accuracy, which of course it hasn't, and it's been re-rolled like countless times now, five times. So, you know, uh, his stats are where they are. He's not fast enough really at 200, but over 6k defense, almost 300 crit damage, and that's before we get his amulet, because he's getting all those extra stats from the from the blessing. Um, so, and also like this makes a big difference. Before this was too low, I would say it's still too low now. We really want that accuracy on the banner still. But he's gonna, you know, he's gonna freeze more champs now before this was a bit low, uh, before I got the six star on him. And so yeah, we're running him, uh, in case people don't know, he does a provoke on the A3, it adds some more debuffs if you if people are frozen. Um, he removes buffs on the A2 as a single target, and then he freezes with the A1. And obviously what we care about, what everybody cares about, is his passive where he freezes if you do a turn meter boost or you get a buff. Um, I got Tormund relatively early, uh, I think he might have been the first or second void uh, legendary that I pulled. Um, so yeah, look, always loved Tormin. He's great. Um, really amazing with his, uh, so obviously this, this A3 also resets cooldowns. Um, but one of my favorite things about him that hardly anyone uses him for anymore is the instant activate on the AOE uh, if people are under a freeze and a HP burn. So I am going to do a video on like Doom Tower, mid game Doom Tower, progressing through Doom Tower hard for, for mid to late games. And how I did that was Tormin plus Ignatius. Ignatius puts the burn out, Tormin does the freezes, and then Tormin just gets to go and go and go with his A1. So 
Let's take him uh, into Live Arena. I've been waiting for it to open. I'm not, I'm not as far as I should be. Uh, I'll just move myself over a little bit. There we go. Uh, I'm not as far as I'd like to be in my Quintus, uh, you know, progression. So I need to be doing some more Live Arena. Um, I'm not going to first pick him because I don't, I don't think most people will first pick him. Uh, so we're going to first pick Armands. Maybe I shouldn't be first picking Armands because uh, I want to encourage them to take a, take a speed team. See, the problem here is the, the Siffy for us is a problem because um, she's got that block buffs. And what we want is lots of freezes and she's going to stop us from doing that. The, the sort of, they're the, you know, the Siffy plus Duchess are kind of the problems for Torment to deal with. Um, now, normally I'd bring White Queen uh, here, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring Arbaeus and the Torment because we want to include the Torment. <laughs> this dude's thinking, what on earth are you doing? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ban the Siffy. Um, and then we'll hope that we get to keep our Torment. If I don't, we'll leave it in. Yay, we kept our Torment. This is the good thing about having somebody that everybody wants to ban uh, going first. Again, uh, you know, like other people, for me, the Armands is not a, it's not a particularly I want him. If I get him, then great. Uh, it's more, you have to ban. <laughs> you have to ban this champ. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to go with the increased accuracy for our Torment. We're going to go, and more buffs for Taras. And then we are going to hit everybody really, really hard. Uh, unfortunately, the Ursaga passive uh, stopped Rotus from dying, but that's okay. What are we going to go with here? Uh, yeah, let's go with this one. And we will put our revive on death. Oh, and we buff stripped the UDK. That's great. Sorry, I should, I should have uh, gone through some of the other champs that we're using. Right, let's take out this UDK. Gosh. Uh, I'm going to stick with her in this form. I kind of like her in that form, you know? Um, I don't know if... Uh, Arbaeus has like a... Like a UDK type second form. I really like her first form, to be honest. Oh, gosh, that's where you, it's like, you never know when you've got like your tanky reviver and it's like, okay, how, how well built is there? Uh, so I think we'll put our revive on death back up and let's, uh, I think we'd best take out this one. Oh, we didn't get him out. Okay. Uh, no, I'm still going to try for the freeze. We didn't get any. I'm going to go like this and put the stone skin up now. Just because I know that Rotus is about to hit us and Tormin could use some healing. You see the UDK here, because I haven't got resist on her. Uh, the UDK, uh, sorry, the Wukong uh, can be a problem because he can just buff strip her. See, this is the, the problem that I have with her in this form is, oh, that of course, I forgot that she brings HP burns, of course. Ah, if I'd have known that, I would have switched her forms earlier because she can help Tormin bring that A1 back. We'll carry on picking those two together then. Uh, sorry, am I in the way? So I, I forgot that uh, Arbaeus does a, does a HP burn in that form. So we can use her as a turn meter booster plus increase accuracy and then put her into her second form for the burn, and then Tormund will get his A1s off, so we can also see some of that good fun. Oh, that's funny, I think we just poached someone from there. Or somebody came to us from there. Right, we'll pick our mons again. Again, he's a he's a ban, he's ban bait. Uh, the same, like, I used to do that with Warlord. Um, but, to be honest, like, 
people and 90% of the time people would ban him but if they don't it's kind of like well I didn't I, I didn't actually want him like I mean I'll take it but you know he's not he's not what I actually wanted So yeah, I mean, uh, you know, on my roster, the Taras and the Duchess are just auto picks. Like my best damage dealer and my best support, um, and two of the best of each. So you know, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Oh, Instra, interesting, Astrid. I've not actually faced her in Live Arena yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with this one again, and we'll ban the Yumiko. I mean, we could ban the Georgia, but I think I'm going to ban the Yumiko. Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, they're going to be faster. Definitely. The question is, can we survive? So, no, I haven't got anyone in the uh, bolster, so this could be fun. Oh, and I'm mine. <laughs> Never mind. Sheep. And then let's buff up. Uh, who do we want? Well, let's just kill everybody, shall we? Or shall we? Because he's still got his stone skin. She's in a sheep, I think. Let's just... Oh, gosh. How did we not kill her? I didn't even see how much damage we did, but I feel like uh, the Taras A2 is usually a guaranteed. Okay, let's uh, pop the A3 on the Tormin. Oh, and everyone's dead. Yeah, there we go. That was a quick one. Um, it's really difficult to see, actually, the, the 9P Slayer going off, because the... Um, uh, and I talked about it in the uh, in the Garrel showcase. Um, they... Oh, God, we're going first every time. Um, this never normally happens. Um, they, they just come in as those, as those red numbers, um, so you don't usually, you don't usually see them. Well, it's difficult to see them unless you're, like, slowing it down and looking for them. I didn't actually see how much, how much of our damage, um, Tormin did for us there. I think we'll carry on with the same team. Is there anything here? I mean, the Siffy's still a problem. I'm not a huge fan of this dude. Uh... I mean, I'll be honest, if I wasn't doing this video, I would not be picking Tormin here. But we are, so we're going to stick with it. I'd be picking White Queen and King Narcissus. But I'm going to persevere. All right, who are we banning? I think we gotta ban this dude. I just really hate him. I feel like no matter what, Sigfrund always messes me right up. And frankly, I'm not really that concerned about the other damage dealers. Uh, the Wukong doesn't uh, doesn't bother me that much. He's annoying, but This is where we hope for the freer. No, shame. Uh, I'm going to go for this because what I'd really like is to get a bus strip on all of them. That'd be really handy. Yay. The problem is now the, Yukong, the Wukong can steal that because we didn't do the turn meter. But, you know. At least he didn't hit us. Ah, oh, the block buffs is really annoying. And we don't have a cleanser in this team, which is a bit of a problem, truth be told. Uh, I'm going to A1 because I don't really want to waste those buffs. Surprise, Nuke Tormin! <laughs> right, uh, what do I want here? I am going to go into Form 2 and put up Stone Skin. They don't, they miss out on the heals, but that's okay. This way we can wait for an extra turn for the Duchess Vale again. I 
can't remember. Oh, he did the thing, didn't he? Uh, mm, there's a few buffs around. Not that, as many as I'd like, but hey, it's enough. It's enough. <laughs> That's all that matters. So you can't... Uh, can you see? Sorry, my, my fat face is in the way. Um, maybe I'd do better on the other side of the screen. Um, there you go. So we got Taras with 174 and Tormen bringing in the nukes. I'll stay on this side for now. Just whenever I look at uh, whenever I look at what I'm covering up, I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I could see that. Look at this, we're going first again. This is great. And we've still uh, got like a hundred percent ban rate on the uh, on the Armands. <laughs> I mean, I'm not surprised. I was Batman too. It's just a shame that you can't bring two annoying people because if you don't, then you know. You're missing out on your support or revive or one of your nukers. So Ah, oh, stole my Duchess, dude. Alright. Uh then I think we'll go like this. And then what do we do with Taras though? That's the problem. I don't like it when someone steals my Duchess. Uh, going bombs, okay. Problem is she can't cleanse. Are we still going Tormin? Yeah, I think we bring Tormin and plan to ban the Duchess unless something else happens. Uh, but then we need a cleanser. So we're going to need to bring Pytheon, I think. Wherever he's gone. Where are you, Pytheon? Here we go. If someone's bringing bombs, I always like to have a double cleanse. Um, it's because otherwise they can just ban your cleanser. Let's have a look. Let's hope this doesn't end up being like a Yumiko or something. Thankfully, it can't be in our mons. What you got, dude? Wow, we're really going bombs, huh? I am going to remove your only source of increased attack, my friend. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go speed. We'll see how much damage these bombs do with no increased attack champ. I mean, he's got two bombers, so... But then I have two cleansers, so we'll see. It's my turn, which is always good. Uh, unfortunately, she can't do much for us here. I think we'll just put up block buffs, and then you can't do anything. I guess his, uh, his Uko could strip it from us. Oh, all the UDK, of course, yeah. I forgot about that. Don't see a lot of uh, Uko now. Now I kind of wish I'd saved, uh, saved the um, Pytheon, because actually he's got way more resist to resist the sleep from the other bomb champ. Let's have a look. Hmm... Yeah, let's go like this and make sure that we get... Oh, we got a, we got a taunt on him. But he can then activate the bombs. I know he's got a sleep, a bomb and sleep, hasn't he? And we cleanse. This is why I don't... This is why, like, I never go bombs, because it's just... I know, it's like, well, yeah, you can cleanse it, but do you cleanse it? Like, I, I mean, you know. There we go. Like, for me, it's too easy. Like, yeah, there's a chance that you, like, sleep my reviver and cleanser, but there's also a decent chance that you don't, mate, because, you know, I build resist, or at least uh, a, a bit of resist. Um, so, yeah. Like, sometimes I find bombs is, like, 
I was going to say 50-50, but I wouldn't even say that. I would say it's less than that. I would say, like, 75% of the time, somebody puts their bombs out. Oh, hey, look at this. We got 100% pick first this this time. Um, if we didn't get the pick first, I would just pick Warlord instead of Armands as my ban bait. So, you know, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, they're both... Built fast in one piece stone skin, uh, four piece stone skin. Uh, so one turn stone skin. Uh, oh gosh, uh, that looks fun. Let's go for our same one again, and we will plan. <laughs> I'd really like to ban that Rotus because uh, you know he's like six star awakened. Um, but I think we will still ban the Siffy. No, we'll ban the Rotus. I don't want, don't want to deal with that. <laughs> you can go first. Maybe we should have banned the Siffy, because they're definitely going to have block buffs now. But, you know, our Tormund won't be freezing, but he will definitely be um, doing some damage still. I haven't been checking. I should have been checking how his damage was comparing to the other new, because you guys can rewind and tell me. Oof, the stun, man. That is not cool. Sheep. I always feel like, you know, given my Duchess is six star sheep, I, I do I do need to put Taras actually on um right, sorry, let me concentrate. I'm going to strip your buffs. Thank you. Uh, we'll put that up where we can, which isn't everywhere, and not on the people we want it on, but I always find UDK actually like quite a surprising, a surprisingly decent counter to. We still got block buffs, so I'm just gonna wave on. Uh, yeah, the UDK actually blocks quite a bit of Taras. No, I, you know, like his because his A2 and A1 are both single target attacks. Uh, the A1 is a double hit, but still, you're only getting fifty percent use out of it, so. Uh, we've got a few buffs up, but not that many. What should we do? I think we have a punt and see how far we get. Yeah, not not far enough. Let's see if Tormin can help us out. God, that uh, Wu Kong man. Uh, do do do. Again, every uh, no. Let's go for this. Just make sure we get our turn in. Okay, that's everybody except Siffy. That's good, but unfortunately our Taras is sleeping. I think we'll go like this and see if we can get a block active skills on her. No, I haven't booked Arbeus's A1. I probably should because I really like the block active skills. Uh, let's go like this and see if we get any ah, resist on the, on the freeze. Are they going to get a revive on the UDK? Yeah, that's okay. We're in a better spot than we were. Question is, has he got his strip? I don't think he has. This is where we find out now. No. But, you know, here for his Wukong half healthing, my, uh, my Taras is not bad. terms of outcomes for him. That sleep's really annoying. There we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, let's go for the... Everyone's got block buffs, haven't they? So... Just whittle them down. <laughs> Maybe he's thinking the same about me. Do, 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 do. All right, let's get those burns up. See if we can get some Tormin A1s kicking off. Ah, uh, they're not frozen. Nobody's frozen, though, so we won't, which is annoying. I 
And see if he just keeps putting up those block buffs, man. Ugh, great. Now he has stolen, like, just all the buffs. He's got all the buffs. <laughs> I mean, thankfully, we didn't have stone skin anymore. This is the problem. I haven't I haven't built our base. I've gone for a fast our base rather than a... Ugh, uh... oh, who are we going to kill? There's no point in killing the Wukong because he's got revive on death. Has he got his A2 back, probably? Yes. Oof. Ouch. I'm going to sleep the Duchess. Let's just make sure he can't do anything. This is also the problem with Taras that, like, you know... I, you don't appreciate when you're going against him, but his his passive reduces the damage he takes, but it takes it off his life. So, like, it reduces his max HP, um, which is really annoying, because that's his damage. <laughs> that's his damage multiplier. Um, thankfully, the Wukong's only got the A1. So, yeah, you know, if it, on, in a long fight like this, you can end up with, like, you know, where your Taras has got, like, his max health has been reduced and reduced, so actually his damage is going down throughout the duration of the fight. I think we'll go like this. And I'm pretty sure that they all used their stuff recently, so I'm going to put Revive on death because we've got two champs who are close to, well, who are looking pretty low on health. I really wish you would stop sleeping, my dudes. Because I have not got any cleanse. Which is really annoying. I did have it back. I didn't think he did. Hopefully, uh, her revive isn't on. Isn't off cooldown. It is off cooldown. Great. Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Let's go for the A one to kill the Wukong. I think Sifi just revived, but I could be wrong. <laughs> I feel like the metamorph could be on a shorter cooldown, man. I know somebody complained the other day. And what I'll probably do here is uh, pause the recording, I'll fast forward, and bring you guys back in at the end of this. I'll chat to you guys in a second. We did win. Now I've got to be honest, I stepped away because uh, like my wife was like messaging me, can you go and do this, that and the other. So I, I, I'll be honest, like our health was so low because from the uh, from the um, the life harvest, I was like, there's no way we win in this fight, but I'm not willing to throw in the can, uh, even though it's been like 10 minutes. Uh, it was slightly over that. I think it was like 12 minutes when I popped downstairs. Uh, I was like, no. I was just like, nah, this was a bad call. I've obviously banned the wrong dude. Uh, you know, I didn't bring a cleanser. So the Siffy was just A1ing us constantly. Taras wasn't getting a look in. Um, and yeah, and Wukong just felt like had block debuffs on us the whole time. And any time, you know, getting past the UDK was a real pain. Um, it was a real pain to then get any damage on anyone else. So yeah, I did not think for a second we were going to win that when I left it. There was the Duchess and Taras with, like, no life left. Um, and I popped downstairs and hit auto. Uh, so, yeah, like, I'm amazed uh, that we won that after 15 minutes. And I'm sorry, I'll probably cut a large section of that out for you. Um, because, yeah, that was that was a painful, painful fight. <laughs> but, you know, two tanky teams, I guess. Uh, yeah, his, his Wukong did less damage than us, but, yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. Uh, I really enjoy Tormin in this kind of a build, and he's just a nice flex nuker for uh, for arena for live arena. I'd like it. I'd like to get his gear ascended properly, get his speed up, um, 
then it'd be really useful. But yeah, like, unfortunately, we didn't face any. Maybe if we'd gone second a little more, um, then we would have seen more speed teams. Uh, but maybe it was us picking the Armands that meant everybody else didn't pick a speed team, which was typical. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Tormin, still great, still amazing. Coming, you know, I would say coming slightly back more into the meta with the speed uh, with speed coming back in a little bit more. So yeah, I like him in a nuke and accuracy build, um, and especially in Slayer. Cheers, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.